Bashanda di basete, robo no ribo korobo sete, rababa bakara basata. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Madaba sikuno da baba bakara basete. You are God all by yourself, O Father. Thank you, Jesus. You are awesome in this place, Almighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God reigns. Hallelujah. Our God reigns. Our God reigns. Our God reigns. Great is the faithfulness of our God. Good morning, Holy Spirit of God, and welcome. Welcome into our presence. Welcome into our day. Welcome yes, into this time. Yes, Welcome into this season. Take full control, Holy Spirit of God, all of you and none of us. For Holy Spirit, you are welcomed here. Come flood this place and fill this atmosphere. For your glory, O God, is what our hearts long for, to be overcome by your presence. Who can stand against your, your name, O Lord? Who can fight against you, O God? Who but you are great and greatly to be praised? Hallelujah to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, family, good morning. Hallelujah, those who are in watch parties, those who are running watch parties, we thank God for you, we bless God for you, we declare that this is the day that God has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. God is faithful, God is awesome, God is kind, God is true. God is wonderful. God is faithful. Holy is the Lord God Almighty who we serve. Hallelujah. We are grateful, happy, joyous, full of peace, full of love, full of power, full of self-control. We are celebrating that this day we have lived to see. Hallelujah. 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 We have lived to see another day. Ah, karabasendo rebianda. Aye kushika tatori anda makori bamba ushiende lebe kesi turi bianda la. We have lived to see another day. What a good God! We have come through this weekend. All we have to do is look at the list of persons that have passed on over the last week, over the last few months. Hallelujah! Just from Corona alone, and Corona is not the only thing that is causing persons to go home to glory. But when we look and we see that this morning we are here, we are healthy, we are alive, and our biggest complaint is that we are tired or we are too sleepy to get up to give God glory this morning or this day or this afternoon. Hallelujah. That's our only concern. Bah, my God. We should be saying hallelujah. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Great is the faithfulness of our God because no money woes is bigger than life. No sickness or disease is greater than death. All those persons who have gone would rather be alive and not well. Would rather be alive and poor than to be dead. For there is no repentance from the grave. And so as God has given us life, we are grateful. Yes, we don't want to live in poverty. We certainly don't want to live sick. Oh, that's for sure. But it's just perspective that we are establishing this morning as we celebrate the goodness of the Lord. He has given us an opportunity to call forth that which is not as though it were. He has given us an, an opportunity to speak to poverty, lack and insufficiency. He has given us an opportunity to speak to the infirmities, that cause sickness and disease. He has given us an opportunity to do great and mighty things. And so once you're alive, you have a chance to survive because you're alive. Only if you are dead, you have no chance. And so we give God thanks this morning for, for keeping us alive and well. Fourth Watch family, this is a time and a season for us to be serious about what we speak into the atmosphere, to be serious about what we think and what we and how we work, how we do what we do, because God is close. His coming is close. It is not just talk. His coming is near, and we have to show others that we care and try to get them into the kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. So, Father, we thank you this morning. 
that you have given us life and life more abundantly. We thank you for the nations that are represented in this fourth watch family, in this fourth watch hour. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that you have woken us up. Hallelujah. And you have blessed us with health and strength and prosperity and good success. We thank you, Lord, that even the things that we do not see, we prophesy them into being in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that we are blessed and highly favored, that we are the anointed, the called out ones, that God Almighty, hallelujah, we run and can never be weary. And when we walk, we will not faint. We run through troops and leap over walls. We tread upon serpents and scorpions, and we have power over all the power of the enemy. We have the tongue of the learned. Hallelujah. And when we speak, O God Almighty, our tongue, hallelujah, is a mighty sword. Hallelujah. To cut down the plans, the plots, the schemes, and the traps of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. Eternal Father, we ask you this morning to bless not just the Fort Watch family members, not just our household, not just our community, but our nation as well. Bless our land, O God Almighty. Guard us with your mighty hand. Keep us free from evil powers and be our light through countless hours. And to our leaders in the various nations that are represented in this Fort Watch hour and in the Fort Watch family and into the world, O God Almighty, grant them true wisdom from above. Let justice and truth be ours forever in the various lands, the various nations that you love. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that your hand is upon the United States of America. Yes, the United States of America. We single them out this morning because they have a pending election, O oh God Almighty. And this election, O oh God, will be a very, a very serious one. Father, we do not take for granted that this is a nation that supports uh, Israel, we do not take for granted, O oh God Almighty, that you have said that those who bless Israel, you will bless. We do not take for granted, O oh God Almighty, that the nation is divided, some among political lines, some among racial lines, some among economic lines, some among every kind of lines. But this morning, O oh God Almighty, we stand in the gap for the United States of America. We stand in the gap because there are Fort Watch family members that are there. So even though we are not Americans, Lord God Almighty, we stand with our family. For your word says where two or more are gathered. Come on, Fort Watch family members. America is in trouble. America is in trouble. And I'm not preaching doom upon them. But the enemy is desires to sift them as wheat. Not because of who they are or what they have done or who is their president. But because they support Israel. Come on, glory to God. Don't miss it. You got to get it. Because America supports Israel. The enemy desires to embarrass them. Desires to destroy them. Desires to tear them down. Because Israel represents represents the Messiah. Israel represents what God has done and is doing and will always be doing. Everything emanates from them. The gospel came out of Israel. Come on, glory to God. And the enemy is upset that this has happened. And so anyone who prays for Israel or supports Israel or souls to Israel uh, is public enemy number one and so when you look at what is going on in america you might think that this is as a result of the president or as a result of governmental policies or as a result of black versus white or white versus black or all of that no all of that is the manifestation of an orchestrated plan plan strategically implemented by the principalities and powers that have been placed over every one of those states designed to discredit them because if america falls if America is discredited, then Israel's support is not as it used to be. And then they can attack and close in. The enemies that are around them can attack and close in. Hallelujah. This is not politics. This is Bible. This is spiritual stuff. And we got to understand the crafty devices of the enemy. But as my wife likes to say, the hand of the crafty shall not fulfill its purpose. It shall not complete its enterprise against Israel. Israel or against the United States. And so we cancel, cramp, and paralyze the devices of the crafty this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ because their hands shall not carry out their enterprise against the United States, against Israel, and by extension, all the other countries that depend on these nations. Because I'm telling you, being so close to America, if America is destroyed, if America's culture or, 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 or nationalism or, or, or politics, Political systems are, are, are destroyed. 
and other systems come into place that are oppressive that does not believe in freedom of, of, of religion come on freedom of speech we will be in trouble like you would not believe there are nations up to friday we were praying for some nations that have people there same color same everything cutting off the heads of their people we got to get serious foot watch family members we got to understand what's going on in the underbelly do not as Christians, do not as people with the eyes of God, get caught up in seeing what other people see. We must not see what is on the surface because that's the manifestation of a wound that is deep inside. That's the manifestation of a root that has been planted and has been growing in the situation for many years. And so we have to see beyond what is the, the normal sight. If everyone else can see what we see, then we are not seeing. Come on, glory to God. We got to see beneath what is happening and get to the root of what Lucifer and his principalities and powers are doing and uproot them by the spirit of the living God. Uproot yeah. them by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. And so every plan, every plot, every scheme and trap of the enemy to create civil war, come on, to create a social discord in the United States of America, to uproot and to destroy, to cause fear and, and uncertainty to come to the lives of the Fort Watch family members if it's even just on behalf of our members that live our family members that live in that nation we declare devil you have failed we declare devil you are destroyed by fire your works are destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ as I said that Nicole, Nicolette your, your name come up in uh, what about you are representing Texas this morning Layton is representing Florida this morning and anyone else if you are if you are living in the United States come on people of God Hallelujah. Felice in New York. Come on, Fort Watch family members. Get serious. Get serious. If you are in this, this watch this morning, if you are here and you live in the States, just type the name of the state that you are in, whether Texas, Florida, whatever, and we are going to storm heaven because America will not be destroyed. We, will, we are not selfish. We are interceding. And as you stand in the gap, come on, don't let Echo Shot New York, Debbie 10, Hakaraba City. We stand in the gap for New York, Lord. New York shall not be destroyed in the name of Jesus. We stand in the gap for New York and the people. We stand in the gap for Texas in the name of Jesus. We stand in the gap for Florida this morning in the name of Jesus. Louisiana under storm. Atlanta. New Jersey. We stand in the gap for New Jersey this morning in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord God Almighty. North Carolina. Florida. We stand in the gap this morning, oh God, for every state. Yes, 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 yes. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Father God, wherever the feet of Fort Watch family members touch, Pennsylvania, yes, in the name of Jesus Christ, wherever their feet trod, oh God Almighty, if you have family members, Fort Watch, if you have family members that are there but they're not on the Fort Watch. Type in the name of the state where they live because by this prophetic act, I tell you that those states will begin to experience the glow and the glory of God. Come on, we are a prophetic family and we declare that what we say is what will come to pass. What we do is what will happen. Oh, come on, glory to God. And so this morning, Father, as you have led, we intercede for the United States of America. We intercede for Maine. We intercede for Boston. We intercede for Pennsylvania. We intercede for New Jersey. We intercede for Louisiana. We intercede for Florida. We intercede for California who is under wildfire. The enemy desires to burn them up and turn California into hell. Hallelujah. Los Angeles. Sacramento. Albany. Hallelujah. North Carolina. We declare blessings and favor over every state. Hawaii. Yes, 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 yes. Puerto Rico. Queens, New York in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that every one of those 52 states are touched by the agreement of your people this morning and we declare that it is well we thank you lord god almighty that wisdom knowledge and understanding is being released right now on the government of america and there shall be no riots all the plans lord even this moment this moment there are persons who are running around putting together guns and ammunition guns and ammunition because they are saying if the election goes one way or the other they are going to wage war and blood is going to run on the streets but God Almighty I thank you that the enemy shall not turn the United States into a place of chaos 
they shall not yes, hallelujah Lord. bring the, 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 the system of freedom and democracy yes. to its knees yes, they Lord. shall not bring the Christian principles and yes, processes Lord. that yes. guides yes. hallelujah the, 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 the fabric of America oh God Almighty may not be seen in the way that it, it used to be seen in the past but it is still there it is still the basis on which they exist and so Lord we thank you that religious freedoms shall not come under attack through strategic manipulation of the system by Lucifer Satan the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you get your hands off the United States of America in the name of Jesus Christ and we thank you Lord that as we as a family have agreed and declared it it is done in the name of Jesus Christ Long Island we see you and we declare that it is well in the name of Jesus Christ yes Broward County Connecticut every one of them come on as you declare them come on people of God as you speak those places out of your mouth come on call some names if you are living in any other part of the world just call the name of a state call the name of a county whatever you call it shall be restored in the name of Jesus there shall be no war no civil war no fighting no 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 unnecessary killing of of, of, of persons who are not committing or, or not in the in the in the in the line of duty hallelujah innocent killings and those things must cease in the name of Jesus Christ the enemy shall not Hallelujah. Take control of the United States and by extension the world in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you this morning, O oh God. Oh, Father, we thank you that on this Miracle Monday, you have already done a miracle. You have done a miracle for the United States and by extension the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I cannot tell you how to, how to, to, to orchestrate and to run uh, what will happen in November in the elections. But I say, let your will be done in the name of Jesus Christ. On earth as it is in heaven, let your will be done in America as it is in heaven, O oh God Almighty. You know who will because that election has already taken place in the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. And so, Lord, you already know who will come into office. But, Lord, let it be, hallelujah, according to your will. We stand in the gap for the government of the United States. And we declare that it shall always be a government that holds fast to righteousness, holiness, and truth. And to the support of Israel and the peace of Jerusalem. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. As you have prayed for one nation, hear me carefully, do not become superficial, do not become a, 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 a fleshly or a soul person. We are different. We are at a higher level. We see through the eyes of God. We hear by the ears of God and we speak through the mouth of God. Therefore, we have no personal preference, only the preference of God because we have committed to being who God says we are supposed to be. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. We just want to lift up some persons on this Miracle Monday because we want to see God's miracle come to pass in our lives as a family. And as we intercede for others, so the Lord will do a mighty work on our behalf. So I have six persons' names here that I want to just um, lift up. And I just ask you to agree with me. Those of you who can pray in the spirit, just continue to pray in the spirit as we lift up our brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. And their families. <coughs> Excuse me. And as you, as, you, as you pray for others, the Lord blesses you and ministers to you. Trust me, I believe that in no uncertain term. And so you don't have to be praying for yourself when you're praying for others. Because as you're praying for others, the Holy Spirit and angels are interceding for you and for your, sorry, and for your family in Jesus' name. Glory to God. So the first person we want to lift up this morning is Marjorie Chong. Marjorie Chong, she is the, 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 the mother of one of our members. Hallelujah. Sharika. Hallelujah. Sharika, we bid you good morning. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We declare this morning that no infirmity shall come nigh your mother in the name of Jesus. Marjorie Chong. Marjorie Chong, we call your name in the realm of the spirit. We call your name in the atmosphere. And we declare that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. We come against every infirmity. We come against every plan, every plot, every scheme scheme and every trap of the enemy to destroy your life to stop you from becoming who God has purpose for you to become we declare that you shall accomplish your purpose in the name
name of Jesus. We speak to every parasite operating in your blood. We speak to every disease, every sickness, everything that has come down through generations and everything that has, has happened as a result of food, everything that has happened as a result of what you have eaten in the realm of, realm of the spirit while you sleep. We cancel that by fire. We send lightning and thunder into your bloodstream, Maju Chong, and we declare everything that is illegal in your bloodstream, in your organs, in your joints and marrow, in your nervous system is vanquished now in Jesus Christ of Nazareth name, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Sister, Sister Marsha, we declare right now that you shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord. Every spirit of fear that wants to come upon you on, on, on infirmity, we declare healing is your bread. We speak to every part of your body right now. We speak to your womb. We speak to your uterus. We speak to, your, we speak to everything that is in your womb and in that area of, of, of your uterus. And we command it to be restored now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every unfortunate situation that is taken place in your body we say receive fire receive fire now and any other person who is having any kind of abnormality any kind of uh, uh abnormal bleeding any kind of, of, of pains in your lower abdomen in the name of Jesus Christ come on or if it if it if if the enemy plans it for your future come on put your hand on your lower abdomen and we command that no weapon formed against your uterus against your womb against your hey Jesus shall prosper we command it now die 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 in the name of Jesus we send spiritual lightning come on and men if you're on here and your wife is not on stand in the gap for your wife in the name of Jesus put your hand in your lower abdomen and though you do not have uterus or womb we declare that as you stand in the gap for your wife or for your future wife come on come on we're a prophetic family or for your future wife we declare that it shall not come nigh them for only with our eyes shall we behold and see the reward of the wicked so everything that the wicked has released against the fourth watch family members and against our family our family's family we cancel it cramp and paralyze it by fire in the mind mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So Sister Marsha, we love you and we declare health and strength. Your test results shall come back negative from any infirmity. Your test results shall come back as a celebration of the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus, we give you a medical clean bill of health. In the name of Jesus Christ. Brother Al Swell, we declare today that this is the day of your deliverance. This is the day of your restoration every plan, every plot, every scheme and trap of the enemy over so many years that have been instituted against you, against your family, against your, your businesses, against your prosperity, against your health. We cancel it. We wage war against it now. We call for the 30 angels that represents the, the, the 30 warriors that were around David. We call for the 30 warring angels to go to war on behalf of, of, of Al Suel and Felisa sergeant and their families in the name of Jesus and we declare protection we declare covering, we declare destruction of the enemy's plans and works against Al Suel and Felisa sergeant and their families in the mighty name of Jesus and Lord we ask that you will cause those warring angels to set up a, a guard, not just a rear guard but a front guard and a side guard around Al, Al Suel and his family and Felisa sergeant and their families in the name of Jesus Christ Lord God Almighty we ask, we, we lift up Keona this morning and her husband Lord they desire to conceive and so Lord we stand in the gap as a family ah oh, for them oh God Almighty we thank you that that baby prophet shall come forth in the name of Jesus Christ we speak fertility to those eggs we speak fertility to the sperm and we command everything in that womb oh God Almighty to begin to, 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 to germinate to come forth to, to arise in the name of Jesus Christ every blockading spirit blocking the sperm from getting to the eggs. We destroy you by fire now in the name of Jesus Christ and we command pregnancy to take place now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you that that, that coming together that took place last night is now confirmed in heaven as the day hallelujah when connection has been made with sperm and egg and a baby is now growing in that womb in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And finally Lord, we thank you for Michael and Christopher and Mishana, Mishanya and uh, Miller 
in the name of Jesus. This family, oh God Almighty, has been oppressed for a while. Father, there is unforgiveness in this family. There's a need for salvation. But Lord God Almighty, we speak to that spirit of discord. Call unforgiveness. That spirit of discord. Call rejection. That spirit of discord. Call oppression that is in the Miller family. And we command you to be uprooted and go now in the name of Jesus Christ. On this Miracle Monday, we stand in the gap for the Miller family. And we command every plan, every scheme, every trap sent against them from the north, south, east and west receive fire now be repelled now drive back like the Assyrian army that had to run at the very sound of the feet of the four lepers they had to run leave everything Lord may the enemies against this Miller family run in the name of Jesus Christ and they will not may they be drowned in the spirit of the Lord like the enemy of, of, of Israel was drowned in the Red Sea see in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you Lord for your good hand upon baby Arika in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your love be demonstrated for baby Arika and may she feel your strength and your love in Jesus name. I speak salvation to the Miller family now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord. We bless the name of Jesus. We praise your name oh God. You are awesome in this place. Almighty God, you are worthy of all praise. Hallelujah. You are worthy of all praise. Almighty God. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are awesome in this place. Blessed be the name of the Lord most high. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for this time of prayer. We pray, O oh God Almighty, that every person that was called personally and those, O oh God Almighty, who you want to subliminally, hallelujah, bless as they stand in the gap for others. May it be so upon their minds. May your anointing fall afresh upon this fourth watch family in this fourth watch hour in the name of Jesus. May nothing that we desire to have, to see, to be, or to do for your good pleasure be denied us, O oh God Almighty, because anything that is according to your will must come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that is not of faith is sin. So may faith arise in us, O God Almighty, and may we become problem solvers in the realm of the spirit and in the natural in the mighty name of Jesus. May our lives impact others, change environments, shift circumstances, shift atmospheres, and change lives in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Okay, so family, we've been trying to to um, get through Romans 12 for quite a few weeks now, but God is faithful, God is good, and so we're going to see how many verses we can get through in Romans 12 from verse 1 to verse 8, in the name of Jesus Christ. I think we were at verse 3, hallelujah, where it says, serve God with spiritual gifts, and verse 3 says, for I say through the grace given to me, to everyone who is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, as God has dealt to each one a measure of faith. That's a very important verse because often we see it. Church, let me tell you, people of God, we, my wife and I have come in contact with so many persons that are experiencing church hurt. Church hurt. Both who we talk to on the phone, who we have not ministered to personally, and who we have ministered to personally. And church hurt is a very dangerous, dangerous hurt. Because if persons leave from church or, 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 or um, think that church is not a place of, of solace, of joy, of peace, of hope, then where will they find it? If they are away from where they are supposed to experience God and grow in God and even help others to grow in God. If they are not in that space, it's like a child not going to school and their parents can't teach them at home. What will happen to them? School might not be the best place um, in terms of socially, in terms of, 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 um, of, of interactively, but if there is an academic thing that can take place, if learning and, and, and maturing can take place there, then the other things are just mere formalities, are things that can be ignored. Though they are, are, are irritants. Come on, glory to God. And so when we, we, we in the church, whether it be from the pulpit to the pew, think of ourselves more highly than we should, that's when we cause church hurt. That's when we hurt others. That's when we say, <coughs> excuse me, that's when we say and do things 
that we shouldn't and it cause hurt unto others because we think of ourselves more highly than we should. We, we, we hear of someone who has done something and we begin to jump on our high horse because we think we're perfect. We think we're so righteous and holy that we can condemn we can destroy through our words or our actions other other people's lives and i'm talking to myself come on don't feel bad i'm speaking to myself i need to stop thinking of myself highly i need to walk in more love i need to walk in more joy and more peace i need to be more forgiving so don't think ruan is 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 dissing you this morning it's not you you're just overhearing and god is saying to you don't be like rowan come on glory to god hallelujah you don't 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 ever get to that place where you think of yourself more highly than you should and become judgmental <coughs> and condemnatory of others in the name of jesus christ so i'm trying to learn i will take the the, the, the punishment this morning by the glory of god i will i will take the licks and I will desire to grow more in God and to be who God wants me to be. And so one day I will get like you, man, full of joy, full of peace, full of love, full of compassion. I am working on it and the Holy Spirit is helping me to get there. And so we have to continue as you get it. Help others to get it as well. Teach others to honor the scriptures, not to think of themselves more highly than others. Because two things will happen. You'll hurt people and you'll get swept away by pride. And yes. God keeps the proud afar off. And so if you become proud like the like 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 the Pharisees, thinking that you know God, thinking that you are under God's right hand, thinking that because God uses you to heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out devils, that you are guaranteed heaven. There is a scripture I will tell you that says some will come, many will come before me on the last day and they will say Lord, Lord, did I not cast out devils in your name? Did I not heal the sick in your name? And he will say depart from me, I never knew you, you worker of iniquity. And so the thing Things that that demonstrates or the things that seems to, 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 to send a message, the things that are a business card for, 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 for Christianity or for the glory of God could still find you in hell and that would not be swell. And so we must not think of ourselves more highly. The higher we go in God, the more we demonstrate God's power and dominion, the more we learn of God and the more we spend time in the presence of God is the more people must see us as humble and loving and forgiving and kind. Amen? <coughs> Thank you. Excuse me. Hallelujah. And so verse 4, so I hope that, 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 that verse 3 really came alive to you and impacted you we have to search ourselves the word of god must cause conviction in order to cause conversion so as it becomes revelation then our lifestyle begins to demonstrate that we have received that revelation through the manifestation and so if you were one before now that was like me who used to think a particular way about persons who sin or who made mistakes or or, or who do things that they shouldn't excuse me, do, because our weakness is not along that lines, then we are actually, in practical terms, thinking of ourselves more highly than we ought to. Because Paul, hallelujah, as he was just going through and teaching the people, and he saw some people doing some things, uh, he was upset, and, 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 but, but he understood the heart of God, and he said something that was very profound. He said, there go I, but for the grace of God. There go I, but for the grace of God, people of God, hear me as a family. I implore you every single day. Think of yourself as you see things that are done in your household, that are done by your spouse, that are done by your children, that are done by your church members, your co-workers, by your community members. And just say to yourself, God, thank you. Thank you, Lord, that you have kept me from that. Thank you that you have not caused that to be my portion in this season. But there is something that somebody else is looking at me through their eyes and seeing something that they are saying, thank you, Lord, that I don't have that. And so we must never get on our high horse, but always be humble and saying, Lord, there go I, but for the grace of God. But where I am going and what it is that is in me, O God, may it be delivered from me that I truly might be a pleasant sight in your eyes and a sweet incense in your nostrils in the name of jesus christ that's how we must live every single day because there is never a day when there is not something in you that makes god go mm. 
oh my goodness, that didn't smell good. And therefore, we have no right to cover our nose, block our eyes, our, our, our ears, or speak negatively against someone else. Because that's indicating to God that we think more highly of ourselves than we should. That's verse 3. Glory to God. I hope that... Yes. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Uh, must have been Solomon who wrote that in Proverbs. When we think we are sweet, we are stink. Hallelujah. The moment you think you are something, hallelujah, that's when you are nothing. We, hallelujah. And so each day, because I used to think I was something, man. I used to think I was the cat's pajama. Oh, my clothes were nice. My cars were nice. My bank account was nice. Hallelujah. Look good. Hey, get my facial, my manicure and pedicure. Glory to God. I was so sweet. When I walked in a room, everybody knew I was there because I thought I was the cat's pajama, but I really was nothing. Come on. Glory to God. I was nothing because it was all about things that could go like that. But when you are they so like and that. they went <laughs> my wife remind me that they went just like that glory to god hallelujah and so people of god we got to just be be real man let's be real because the fourth watch family is a real family we do things real come on we 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 we, we put it out there real and we live real because we want to grow hallelujah and to be hallelujah. what god wants us to be in the name of jesus christ and so you know everything that you can see on the outside can be taken away in a heartbeat somebody got this somebody discovered just yesterday or today or tomorrow or next week that they have stage four cancer everything that they have including hundreds of millions of US dollars uh, all of a sudden does not seem so important because if they don't have life they can't spend and enjoy all of that money so everything that you can see can be taken away by the things that you cannot see and so we must focus on the things we cannot see which is the spirit of God that is in us to give us love and joy and peace and hope come on glory to God and to live in the fullness of our purpose and then that will put in right perspective and context the things which we can see and when the things which we can see emanates or is is it comes into fruition from the things that we cannot see then everything will be in balance and everything will be to the glory of our god oh jesus glory to god that's so nice all to me <laughs> hallelujah we bless you lord and we thank you for great revelation so verse four hallelujah says for as we have many members in one body but all the members do not have the same function hallelujah and so that's that that's that's paul saying the one of the reasons because there are many reasons why we should not think of ourselves more highly than others verse 5 verse 4 explains it it says for we have many members all of us are different, man. There was the, the, the time when I was up, other persons were down. Some of those persons are up now when I when when I, God took me down to bring me up again in another way. Come on, glory to God. He has not brought me up with the cars and the big bank accounts and the th stuff like that in the natural side, but he has brought me up to a place that makes the natural side looks like it it, it it was like it insignificant. I'm not saying that you don't need the natural side. Please don't misquote me or get me wrong. Understand. But now I'm happy. I was, I was getting by when the natural side was good. But I wasn't happy. I wasn't full of joy. Now that I'm filled and elevated in the spirit and keep going higher each day, I am so happy. Even when I don't have the things of the natural, I'm still happy. When I was in the natural and had things of the natural, there was an emptiness, a sadness. That's why I was a womanizer. Because I kept trying to fill a void. I kept trying to find a joy. I kept trying to find a spirit filler that could not be filled because it needed the spirit of a living God Hallelujah. to fill that space and so to anyone out there even if you're in church and you find that you're you're craving after you're going after some things in the natural it may be because there is a void in the spirit come on glory to God there are Christians that are that are that are doing some stuff I God Almighty that they shouldn't do that's because there is still a small void there's still a space in what God should be filling up that you have reserved for yourself and it is 
triggering and causing those things to happen and so you're hurting people and hurting yourself and so we just pray this morning hallelujah as i go on i just i just pray that that space that void that gap that thing that is causing uh, you to walk in a different direction from the way that god wants you to walk i pray oh god almighty that 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 that, that desire to say i'm not letting anybody walk over me because of your hurt of the past i'm not gonna let anybody say anything bad to me again that spirit of low self-esteem that is hidden deep down but because god is doing such a work in you and through you you don't recognize that low self-esteem is still there but we break that curse now in the name of jesus we break that spirit of rejection from your life now we break that spirit of soul tie from you now in the name of Jesus Christ, we declare that you shall not have to look a husband because God says he who findeth a wife findeth a good thing and therefore it is the man that's supposed to come looking for you. Hey Jesus, because the man will obtain favor when he finds you because you are favor. I had to tell my wife just yesterday as I was thinking and the Lord was just ministering to me and just showing me how, ma how many things because of the woman that he gave me have come into my life and I, I feel the presence of God and, and I, I was just so grateful I had to say to her honey I am blessed because of you God has blessed me because he has brought you into my life come on women of God you got to be put yourself in a position to be a blessing to the man that God allows to find you in the name of Jesus and men you got to put yourself in a position in God that you can be a blessing that you can be hallelujah the one who brings in the favor and that favor uh, blesses your entire family because of how you live and treat the blessing, the gift that God has given you. But you first must recognize that the woman that God has given you is a blessing and it causes blessings to come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's part of verse, verse 4 when it says, For as we have many members in one body, Oh, but all the members do not have the same function. So the women don't have the same function as the men. Come on now. Just like, 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 like in the body of Christ, all the people, my, my, my wife prophesies accurately and effectively. I'm just trying, man. By the Spirit of God, I just try a thing. And when the Holy Spirit gives me utterance, I do it. But when it comes to the prophetic thing, I, I yield to her. I give her, hey, glory to God. And so, you know, there are things that some people can pray eloquently and, and, and sophisticatedly and, and go. And some people just groan and say, help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Lord, my family is in need. Help me, Jesus. Lord, I don't have no food in the house help me Jesus they can't say Lord I thank you that you have said that provision is my portion I thank you Lord that you said you will supply all my needs according to your riches in glory and therefore I am expecting you to change my story for my cupboards are empty you said in your word that I should call for that which is not as though it were and so fridge I command you to be filled with food now freeze I command you to be filled with meat now you may not be able to do that but I'm telling you that God God he you just as much when you say God you know she said me fridge empty God you know she said the children hungry God you know she said the bank account empty come on glory to God he hears you just as much and how the scripture that tells you that is the two people in the temple that were praying one man was on his face saying God I'm not good enough how could I even be in your presence? How could I even talk to you? And one man was standing there saying, Oh, eloquent God, I, I, I fast three times a week and I wear my prayer shawl and I have I, I, I speak, hallelujah, with great eloquence and great authority and I know the word, I know the Torah and, and God is saying, That one will not be heard for their much speaking. Come on, glory to God. Hallelujah. And so, even though God has given me this gift, this anointing to, 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 to pray like that, I don't hold it in high esteem. I don't think of myself more highly than the one who just says, God, I need your help. Mm. I'm sorry, look at mm. Heart. Mm. With groanings that you cannot understand, the Spirit of God will make intercessions for you. And so, come on, people of God, do not think for a moment that because you are not like someone else that you are invaluable you are valuable i run weird tell you that this morning you are valuable because god told me you are valuable uh, if you're not hearing god say that you are valuable then hear the servant of god tell you this morning that you are valuable in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah so that's why we are many members hallelujah of the one body 
Hallelujah. And we do not have the same function. Continuing, verse 5. So we, being many, are one body in Christ and individually members of one another. What God is saying is that in the same way that my wife moves in, in, in the anointing of the prophetic and the anointing of, of many other gifts, hallelujah, especially the gift of healing, when she puts her hand on my shoulder, oh, I don't want to cause anybody to stumble this morning, but I'm telling you, glory to God, when she begins to rub the places where aches and pains from tiredness and all kinds of things, come on, man, the healing moves from out of her hand and touch mine. But I'm like, <laughs> hey, hey. I cast out demons. We cast out demons. Some persons, they, 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 they preach the word, but they don't cast out demons. We can't say because demons need to be cast out that that person is insignificant in the body. No, it is the knowledge that they bring to the body of Christ makes people get the revelation that one, they have demonic forces oppressing them that they need to get rid of because they're doing things that go against God's word. Come on, from the person who teach that word. And so they come and find us and they say, man, of God I was in church and the pastor preached and when I realized what he was saying that God expects of me I am seeing the opposite therefore there is a spirit operating that I need to get rid of and so when we all combine in our gifts and talents and abilities and share in the, what the body of Christ needs then people get set free made whole mature and can impact the kingdom of of God, come on, glory to God. So that's don't dis- compare ourselves with other people. Yes, that's right. We must never compare. Find what it is. That's why purpose is such an important topic in the body of Christ. Find what it is that God has called you to do and do it well. Do it well. I remember I said this. I testified this before. Some of you are new, so you may not have heard it. When I was praying, I like to see when the power of God move. And I was praying for people, and everybody would just stand there, hear the prayer, and and and, and the prayer so nice. Sometimes they would even cry, and I feel good in my heart that it sounds like the prayer working, and they would just walk off. And then I would stand up in a line, even sometimes beside my wife, and she would touch them, pray the same way. They would cry the same tears, but the the, the next level would happen. And they would just fall out on the ground. Some would just lay there quietly, slain in the spirit. Some would be going through like electricity, going through them. And I'm like, well, answer what to me? Am I chopped liver? I don't have no power. I need to go fast and pray more. Those are some of the things, but you're not supposed to compare. Maybe the same thing happened, but because your heart is at the place where you need to see something to understand it, it is not by faith. Remember, the word of God says, what is not a faith is sin. And so I have to believe God that what he desires to do through me for the person who is standing before me is different from what he desires to do for the person who is standing before my wife or before you. And so I can't look over there. I'm not even supposed to look through the corner of my eyes unless I'm saying, yes, God, you're doing a work. Yes, God, do a work. God. Do a work through that person God. Hallelujah. And celebrate what God is doing because it is all God. And he is sovereign. He makes all the decisions as to what happens and what doesn't happen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 6 says, having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us. Glory to God. See it? I just explained that as well and so we must never look at others and compare with others because it, the word of God in verse 6 as Romans 12 says having then gifts differing different gifts some of word of some flowing word of knowledge some in word of wisdom some in prophecy some in healing come on some in deliverance come on hallelujah different different things don't look at something else that someone else has that's why persons are, are doing illegal and immoral things to, 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 to grow in the gift of prophecy because people have, 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 have so, what you call it now, idolized the gift of prophecy. They have so idolized prophets that everyone wants it. It's just like being rich. So being rich has such an outward demonstration of comfort and peace and joy and prosperity and good success that everyone wants it and some people will do illegal and immoral things. Some sell themselves, some sell them soul some will sell weed and, and, and drugs and all these kinds of things to try and get it because on the surface through their natural eyes they look and see that which seems
seem like it is great and they desire it even when that's not their port of call that's not what is according to their purpose but we in this fourth world family we in the kingdom of god should not be like that we should accept what god has given us because before we were formed in our mother's womb he knew us and he gave us a gift, a talent, and an ability. And that is what will take us before great men. That is what will make him say, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. And we should build on that and not on what someone else says. Because if you try to be a prophet when you're a healer, those who you're supposed to heal will die. And you are prophet lying instead of prophesying. And God will hold you accountable you might think people are encouraged and people feel good and they say, yes, prophet, yes, prophet. But God will judge you not for who you prophesied and encouraged, but for who you allowed die to die because you moved away from what he called you to do into something Satisfying else that you were not called to do. Glory to God. Satisfying your own loss. So I ask you, if you don't know what it is that you are called to do, if you are drawn to something but you're not feeling confident that that is where your heart is supposed to be, contact us, man. We will pray you through. We will pray for you. And we will ask God to just bring you into the fullness of who you are, that you will prosper. David said, I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord than to be comfortable among kings. Come on, glory to God. Eating grape, getting girls to fan you, and feeling like you're nice when you're really not nice you're like mm, uncooked rice tough can't eat hallelujah bless the name of jesus so we get it we get it okay so that's verse six hallelujah uh let me just continue in verse six according to the grace that is given to us let us use them if prophecy let us prophesy in proportion to our faith our ministry let us use it in our ministering he who teaches in teaching. He who exhorts, verse 8, he who exhorts in exhortation. He who gives with liberality. He who leads with diligence. He who shows mercy with cheerfulness. And so you see all these things, you should underline them in your Bible. Come on, that's why, we, that's why for devotion we need to have a hard copy Bible. Yes, one of these books. Because we need to underline the phone can't work, the tablet don't work as well. Yes, it works when you're mobile, when you're on the go and you're out in public and you just draw for a word and reading it. But in devotional time, you need to have a word because we need to make notes and we need to underline things that needs to have emphasis and go back to. Amen. Glory to God. I'm not, I'm not trying to dictate or take over what you're doing. I'm just suggesting, all right? Amen. And so we, we, we underline each of these things because each of these things that Paul has mentioned, if he who teaches in teaching. So if you're a teacher, study and learn how to teach. Don't try to be like anybody else. Let me tell you, there are some people. There, I, I, I have a brother, a brother in Christ, a pastor friend. When he teaches, he sounds like he doesn't sound like the other persons who are up tempo and excited and you know have, have much gesticulation and and all these kinds of things uh his non-verbal communication is very almost bland but let me tell you man if you are serious about what you want to gain and you listen to him intently you will feel the anointing of god but he's just different from other teachers and so we mustn't compare and contrast those teachers who, who, who are different we must check the anointing yes. check the anointing Hallelujah. not the, the pomp and pageantry and the flair I have heard some people preach some sermons man and, 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 and yes it is good sermon hear me preach I've heard some people preach some sermon and it's a good sermon for the young. It's a good sermon to win souls. But when you come to a mature church, when you come to a mature group of people and you're still going, hey, and the Lord says, hi, uh, Jesus is Lord, hi. And you're, and you're, you're quoting some Psalms and, 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 and stringing some, some quotes from Isaiah and those things. Those are good things. Don't get me wrong. I'm not disrespecting anybody. But I'm saying to you, when you move from the level of milk and you know what hard food, what you need is revelation, not excitement. Oh, glory to God. You hear what I'm saying? So the word can be excitement. 
But that excitement is for those who already are not excited. So when they get excited and they say, wow, I need more, then you move them to the next level. Come on, glory to God. You got to know my heart. I'm, I'm, I'm saying to you, if you are one of those persons who are called to declare God's glory, you have to understand the various spheres, spheres that you are in and know that you have to seek God for a different level of, of, of declaring or stay in your zone, man. If you are only an encourager, if you are only one of those who will just declare, 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 declare like that, then stay there. Do, do, do crusades, win souls like whoa, and then bring them come to the likes of Al Miller and those other persons who will teach and mature and release persons to go and, do, and, and, and glorify God. Amen? Hallelujah. And so um, as, we, as we close this time, I just want you to just underline these things and just ask God, each and every one of them, teaching, prophesying, ministry, exhorting, exhort for exhortation, um, uh, What's this now? Production, yes. Ministry, uh, teaching, uh, exhortation, uh, liberal, give, giving, hallelujah, mercy, uh, all these things that are here. Underline them. Put them before the Lord. Lord, which, is, which of these are mine? And sometimes he'll give you more than one. Sometimes the Lord will cause you to be an evangelist who has a business. Come on. And so your business is flourishing. That means you are also being prepared as a giver. So you're, 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 you're exhorting and you're giving at the same time. Come on. Hallelujah. So he will give you more than one. But you will never, ever be in the kingdom and not have at least one. In the name of Jesus. So find that one. Ask God to reveal that one to you. Start with one and then move on to others. If God, by his grace and mercy, chooses to give you others. In the name of Jesus Christ. I hope this time in the word has been helpful. I hope I explained. If you have any questions, please remember, do not be afraid to ask them. Don't leave from the devotional hour around the devotional table with questions or concerns or even differences of opinion and not express them because that's not what we do. This is not church where you, you pout up your mouth and walk out of church saying, I don't like when preach a while ago, that never sound good, that never seem of God. And then you leave and nothing there. Not you know Fort Watch family because you know better than that. Glory to God. But so many of us do that. Amen. I once used to do that when, when, when I didn't like what I heard. But it's not right. It's wrong. Glory to God. Amen. So we go to the pastor after church. Send a message, man. Write an email. And say, Pastor, I didn't understand this. Help me because I, I, I thought of it a different way. I kind of heard it or learned it a different way. Or my revelation from God is different from what I heard this morning. And so help me to, 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 to merge the two or to understand what it is that you are saying so that I can be, be, be clear and not if I am in the error that I am not teaching other people that error, erroneous way and if you are in the error that we can come to a place of understanding and grow in the right way of God that's the right way to do it man in humility and in love in Jesus name amen yes, glory to God hallelujah Marcia, Lane, and yes Steve Smith asking for prayer they just type it in a while oh Marcia Leng and yes. Crave Crave Christine. 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 Oh. Chris, oh. Marcia Lang. And Christine? Yeah, like Christine Smith. Christine Smith. Okay, we, we, we're almost out of time, but family. We, yes, we're out of time, but family, we, 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 if someone says they need prayer right now, that means that it, it, it's urgent, and we do whatever it takes, man, to show God's love. Come on, from the love boat. We're on the love boat. The boat is heading out to sea. And in the natural, once the boat leaves the dock, it does not go back. You are left behind. You have to find your way. Hallelujah. But our love boat stays afloat and we will come back come on glory to god we will leave the 99 and go back for the one hallelujah because that's what god would do and so we're going back for marcia and receive this morning even though we're out of time in the name of jesus so lord we thank you as a family come on in your own private space wherever you are call their name marcia and receive marcia leng and receive smith call their name and into 
intercede for them. God knows what is happening to them. God knows what their need. God, I thank you that your hand is upon Marcia and Christine. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that your anointing is falling afresh upon them. And Lord God Almighty, that which you are pouring out in October, I pray, God, that you will pour out on Marcia and Christine, that they will have testimonies of your goodness in this month, that this month will not end without Marcia Leng and Christine Smith testifying that you have changed their circumstance, shifted their atmosphere, and caused principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high places to cease from actioning in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Marcia and Christine, I command the peace of God to be in your house in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a round of applause because Marcia and Christine have just been set free. Marcia, you know I, I, I have to Marcia and Christine have been relieved of everything that the enemy wanted to leave on them in the name of Jesus Christ. And so Father, we thank you that in this month of October we as a Fort Watch family and our family members experience great joy, great peace and great hope for this month of October we can cope. We thank you Lord that favor from you and man is upon us now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, good success is pouring upon us by your angels and by your Holy Spirit in this month of October. The seven spirits of God are manifesting upon us as the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. We receive it and manifest it in the name of Jesus. We thank you Lord that the nine gifts of the spirit flow from us as needed wherever we go. That there is never a time when the gifts of the spirit are not at our fingertips or at the tip of our tongue in the name of Jesus. We thank you Lord that the nine fruit of the spirit shall, that shall none be missing from our lives. That all nine shall manifest in and through us. Ah God that people shall say that the fruit of God manifests in us in the name of Jesus. We thank you Lord that good health is our portion and that we walk in good health and wealth and prosperity in the name of Jesus. We thank you Lord that more than anything else every member of the Fort Watch family is in purpose and we will not miss our purpose in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you that the power and love and self-control that you have given to us will always be at the forefront of our existence in the name of Jesus. We walk in the authority that you have given us and we take dominion over the birds of the air, everything that fly, everything that creep and crawl and everything that swim and everything that is in the earth in the name of Jesus. Thank you Lord that your whole armor is round about us in a special way in this month of October in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for salvation for our family restoration for our family hallelujah and we declare that we have the tongue of the learned and we will speak a thing in season and out of season and it shall be according to the will and the purpose of God in Jesus name amen and amen and amen hallelujah we are invincible we are indestructible undefeatable we are more than conquerors through him who love us in Jesus name hallelujah hallelujah I hope you had a good time hallelujah in the word and in prayer this morning in our devotional time God bless you God bless you it is well it is now time for communion hallelujah Marse and Christine I hope that you have your communion because this is what will seal hallelujah that which God has done for you this morning and if you did not have your communion with you and you're a child of God fully baptized and walking according to the will and purpose of God not perfect but walking according to the will of God because perfection is in your repentance come on glory to God hallelujah access to perfection is salvation but perfection is your daily walk with God walking in repentance in love in joy in truth and in peace Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's have our communion. So I was saying to you, Marcy and, 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 and Christine, if you are saved and you didn't prepare your communion, you can take it afterwards. Even if you have to go back and watch this over on Facebook, the last part, and just work with us and be with us as you take your communion because it will seal what God has done for you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are not yet saved, then you need to send us a message because God is calling you to a higher place of his kingdom. 
And so if you're not yet saved and you want to give your life to the Lord, we are here for you, my wife and I. Send us a message, a message, and we will pray with you, walk you through, and help you to get started on this journey. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so, Father, we thank you this morning for your good hand upon us. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your forgiveness of our sins. Lord, if there be any wicked ways in us, in thought, in word, or in action, we repent and renounce it now because it is not deliberate in the name of Jesus Christ. And we ask your forgiveness. Father, we ask that you will cleanse, sanctify, purify, bless, anoint, and appoint these emblems unto our bodies and our soul and our spirit that we truly can be filled with you in an awesome way and be your hands and your feet your voice hallelujah and your love in the earth in this time and in this season in jesus name amen and so as the lord jesus christ took the bread and broke it he blessed it and gave it to the disciples and he said eat this is my body broken for you as often as you eat it you do it in remembrance of me Eat ye all of his body in remembrance of him, that we might be strong, that we might be healthy, that we might be well, body, soul, and spirit, mind, will, and emotion. Eat ye all of it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And so likewise, he took the cup. He blessed it. He took a sup and he said, Drink, this is my blood, the blood of the new covenant. As often as you drink of it, you do it in remembrance of me. My death, burial, and resurrection until I come. Drink ye all of his blood, for the life of the flesh is truly in the blood. New life, I speak over you this morning in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Good morning, good morning. I want to just welcome a good friend of mine, a dear friend for many, many years, who is joining, I think, I believe, for the first time. Hallelujah, as we have seen her. Uh, Judith, God bless you, my sister. May the Lord bless you. Come on, everybody. Judith, hallelujah. hallelujah. Judith, mighty woman of God. Hallelujah. Judith Bodley, God is taking you to a new level this day. This is the day, the next level. October is your month of blessing. And as you have joined on this day, 12, today is the 12th. 12 is the number of government. I declare that you shall be in governmental structures of organizations. I prophesy to you this day that as you have struggled for a long time, as you have been through the ups and downs, through the storms, God says this morning, as you have come into the fourth watch hour, the Lord says to tell you that he has come and met you at the place for he has been waiting for you to come to into the space and the place where you can see where he can meet you and everyone that has implemented and every demonic force that have sent this grace against you god says as you have come into this space this morning he is shifting your atmosphere he is changing your circumstances god says do not be concerned not even for a moment for what will happen to you because this is your time and Hallelujah. your season of transformation and god says i'm calling you to a higher level because there are many lives that you need to impact with consistency mm -hmm. god says judith bodley you have not been consistent in honor in him according to what he has called you to do you have done well and you have done good and you have done some periodic things but god says you have not been consistent my friend i love you and i can tell you the truth that god is saying to you this morning but god says if you are consistent in what he has called you to do there be no heights that he will not take you no influence that you will not have no one that you will not be in a position to share i see you in a very high office i will not say that office today but as you come on this day, the 12th day, 12 is the number of government. As Peter was called, as all the disciples was, were called to that high office of government of God in the earth. So you will be called to a high office that will govern many and impact many lives. But God says it has been delayed because you need to develop the right attitude of consistency. Nothing is wrong with you. You're not bad. You're not, this is not a rebuke. 
No, she God, says speed prophet. Hallelujah. God is just saying to you, consistency in doing what he desires for you to do will cause you to elevate in the place that you will be placed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Go forth and stand strong in what God wants. Always remember every day what God wants you to do. And when you do that, the other things will take care of themselves because you're good at what you do. You are perfect in what you do. You are one of the best in this nation, in the Caribbean, maybe even in the world. So you don't have to worry about the job, the physical job that you do. Concern yourself with the kingdom of God, seeking first. And as you do that, God will just cause opportunities, doors to open that you will not understand. And hear me, do not be concerned about your son. The spirit of the Lord just downloaded. God says, even as the children in this fourth watch family are blessed, so is your son blessed. That he will accelerate, he will accelerate, he will go to higher heights and deeper depths. He will do great and mighty things. God says, I have called him unto myself and I have put a shield around him. I will protect him. And the influences that you are concerned about, even on the other side of his family, I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that you are saying today, my daughter, do not be concerned, for I have shielded him. I have placed my armor around your son, for you have put him to me, and you have said, God, if you don't do it, it can't get done. And I honor your request, and I am shielding your son, says the Spirit of the living God. Be blessed, be blessed, be blessed. Hallelujah. We are out of time. Hallelujah. Jesus loves you. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. So that you can wear the name of Jehovah, Yeshua the Amashiach, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as a child of the King, walking in righteousness, holiness and truth, in prosperity and good success in Jesus' name. Go forth and have a great day God's way for our God has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day his way in Jesus name come on man Jesus love you and we love the whole I wanna talk from the weird family we say enough love strength and peace take courage and have a wonderful one bless you hallelujah